So, Wednesday night, Viva La Cross night. Uh, we're at Costello Stadium in Hull, uh, partaking in a 45 minute lung busting cyclocross race. This is my first race of the 2022 season and uh, it'll be a good little opportunity to test legs out, test lungs out and kind of see where I'm at and uh, yeah a bit of fun on a Wednesday night so thank you for to City Road Club Hull for hosting the event putting on a fantastic course and obviously sponsored by Viva Lavello uh, bike shop in North Ferriby so we'll uh, we'll see how we go it's a bit slippery in places and uh, but yeah it's uh, it's all fun and games and uh, we'll see how it, how it turns out So, about 20 minutes before we start the cross race, uh, I've actually rode here tonight, so that was my kind of, the majority of my warm protocol, but if I'd driven here, what I would have done is spent about 15, 20 minutes on the rollers to start off, just to progressively build my heart rate up and to get the muscles warm, get the, get the juices flowing, so to speak. And then now, we're allowed to have a couple of sighting laps, so, that's where I can build in a little bit of the intensity as well as having some kind of visual on the course and choosing some lines. So after that warm up protocol on the rollers, get on the bike, do these couple of sighting laps and include some little efforts within that, within that, within that uh, sighting. Just uh, get the muscles fired up and, um, and get the heart rate up to where it needs to be. And then we get to the start. So I'm primed, I'm ready. And um, I'm going to leave these warmers on as long as I possibly can because it's a fairly cold night, it's pretty windy and uh, I need to keep my core temperature as warm as possible for as long as possible. So if you think you need to be at the front, come forward now please. Hey, not all 50! <laughs> If you're sensible, then we can get you away safely, fellas. Okay, within the next 20 seconds, the
hide you on your left. No. Thank you. Cross is never easy. I am happy with that. 18. Got a bit of a lead towards the end. 25. But uh, it's kind of a race that I was using to test my fitness a bit. And uh, there's no training session that's as good as a race. So you kind of even, even though I was in a bit of moment, no man's land towards the end good to just keep pushing, watching lap times, seeing if I can get faster in certain lines and keep driving on the straights and making it hard work because at the end of the day it's a good training session as well and it, and it sets me up well for the season. But uh, um, yeah well in knife, uh, yeah happy with that. The, uh, thank you very much to race organisers, City Road Club for putting the event on, fantastic course using all of the grounds, get yourself down in two weeks time. So race done, um, fantastic event, happy to take the win. Um, I got, I think I got the whole shot and then uh, I was battling with one of my good friends Nathan Wilson uh, for a couple of laps and uh, when we got into the back markers I kind of made use of, of uh, a back marker in getting in the you know, racing line a bit and um, put an effort in and got a bit of a gap and then managed to kind of hold that gap. So really, really good race for me. Um, like I say, although it's a, a fairly low key race, it's a really, really good opportunity for a, a great training session and kind of going into a race with no pressure, just being able to kind of put yourself in an environment to, to suffer for 45 minutes and, and get the lungs going. Um, but yeah, fantastic event, really happy with how I performed and uh, fantastic course as well. Best part of the day, texting the missus saying I've won. Cheers, John. <laughs>